what we want to talk about today is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to tell you how you can know that you're going to heaven according to the Bible. Do you know for sure that you'll go to heaven someday? All right. Are you 50% sure or 100% sure? Okay. What do you think it takes to go to heaven? Believe in God, okay. Do you think salvation is just by faith in Jesus, or do you think you have to do good works as well? Good works. Think it's both, okay. That's what I was taught as well. But the Bible says salvation is just by faith. But it's believing something specific. And that's what I want to share with you today. And I'll go ahead and start. The Bible says right here, These things have I written unto you, that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So right here, the Bible says, you may know that you have eternal life. And you can know that by believing in Jesus, the Son of God. But there are a few things we have to understand first. And the first thing we have to understand is the Bible says that we're all sinners. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And what that means is nobody's perfect. We've all made mistakes. I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? No. We've all broken God's rules before. And obviously God loves us, but God is a righteous God. So there is a punishment for our sins. Do you know what that punishment is? What is the punishment for our sins? It's going to hell, right? The Bible says for the wages of sin is death. And the Bible says there are two deaths. You know, we're all going to die physically someday, but there's a second death when hell is cast into the lake of fire. And we don't want to go to hell, right? Amen? Okay. So the bad news first, we are sinners and we deserve hell. The wages of sin is death. But... The Bible says God will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. So what God did is he sent Jesus to save us from hell. Now, who is Jesus? He's God. He's the Son of God. Have you ever heard that God's a trinity? God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So Jesus, not only was he the Son of God, but the Bible says he was God in the flesh. The Bible says God was manifest in the flesh. He came to earth. He was born to the Virgin Mary in a manger in Bethlehem. And throughout his life, he performed many miracles and he showed many signs. But a very significant thing that Jesus did is throughout his whole life, he never sinned. Now, I'm a sinner and you're a sinner, but Jesus was at all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. So he lived that perfect life that we couldn't live. But what did they do to Jesus? How did he die? They crucified him, right? And the Bible says when he was on that cross, because he had no sin, that he bare our sins in his own body on the tree. So every bad thing I've ever done, every bad thing you've ever done, every bad thing Adam ever did, until the very end, Jesus took them all upon himself, and he died. They buried his body in a tomb. His spirit went to heaven, but his soul went to hell because he had our sins. But what happened after three days? Did Jesus stay there? No. no. He rose from the dead while we celebrate Easter, right? He showed the nail prints in his hands, and after 40 days and 40 nights, he ascended up to heaven. But even though Jesus did that, the Bible says most people go to hell. A lot of people that even say they're Christians go to hell. I go to a Baptist church. A lot of Baptists go to hell. But the Bible says there's just, there's just one thing you have to do to go to heaven. And this is probably the most famous verse in the whole Bible. John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son... That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So once again, if you want eternal life, if you want to go to heaven, 
What is the thing that you must do? Believe, right? Now, what the Bible means by believe is not that you just believe Jesus is real or that you believe God exists. It means that you're fully trusting in Jesus to take you to heaven. So let me give you an example. And this would have been me, like, you know, over 15 years ago. But let's pretend I'm someone that says I'm a Christian. But I think I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person. I go to church. I got baptized. I turn from my sins. Is that really trusting in Jesus? Or is that trusting in myself? That's trusting in myself. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So what we have to realize is that Jesus is the only way to heaven. And don't get me wrong. Going to church is a great thing to do. Getting baptized is a great thing to do. Turning from your sins is a great thing to do. But the Bible says salvation is by faith or by believing in Jesus and not in trusting in yourself. Does that make sense? Right? Now, this is the really good news of the gospel. Uh, this is Jesus speaking right here. In John chapter 6, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And two things I like to point out with this verse. Number one, when you believe in Jesus, salvation is instantaneous. Because he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. The moment you believe, you have it. Because is Jesus giving salvation to the to your physical body, or is he giving it to your soul? Does Jesus save this body, or does he save your soul? Our soul, Our soul right? So the first thing I'd like to point out there is that salvation happens the moment you believe. It's instantaneous. And the second thing I'd like to point out is he gives you everlasting life. How long is everlasting? Is that temporary or forever? forever? Forever. So what this means is the moment someone believes, they are saved forever. They can never lose their salvation because Jesus paid it all. Now, do you think that means you should do bad things? No. no. Is God happy with you when you do bad things? No. no. What God will do is if you believe in Jesus and you live a life of sin... He'll punish you in this life, but he'll never take back your salvation because that's free and it's forever. Does that make sense? Right. That, but there are consequences for sin in this life. Let me give you a really bad example or, you know, a, a very extreme sin. Let's say someone believes in Jesus and they commit murder. God forbid, right? They would still be saved. Because Jesus died for all of our sins. But in this life, do you think God's going to let someone get away with murder? No. no. They're probably going to prison in this life. Does that make sense? Yes. But salvation's free. All right? Now, is God a liar? No. no. So back to this verse again. The Bible says, and this is how you can know that you're saved. The Bible says, these things have I written unto you. That believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. So the Bible says, you may know that you have eternal life if you just do one thing. Believe. So that's how you can know you're going to heaven. Do you want to go to heaven when you die? Yes. Right. So what was that one thing you must do to be saved? Right. And who do you have to believe in? Is it any God or is it Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. Amen. And once you believe in Jesus, how long does he save you for? Temporary or forever? Forever. forever. So what if, God forbid, someone believes in Jesus, but they don't go to church. They don't get baptized. They don't repent of their sins. They even commit murder or suicide. But... They believed in Jesus. Where would they go? Heaven. Because how many sins did Jesus die for? Some sins or all sins? Right? And how long does Jesus save you for? Temporary or forever? Is that good news? 
Yeah. Once you're saved, you're always saved. Jesus paid it all. Even if hypothetically someone, let's say someone believes in Jesus, and then five years later they start to have some doubts, they would still be saved because once you believe, the moment you believe, salvation is forever. Do you understand? Right? So once you're saved, you're always saved. And if you believe this, there's a way you make that decision. But first off, do you understand that we're all sinners? Yes. Do you understand without Jesus, we would go to hell? Yes. Do you believe Jesus is the true God? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he rose from the dead? Yes. Right? So basically what I'm trying to change your mind about is what you believe. Before we talked, you thought salvation was by faith and by works. Is salvation by faith and by works, or is it just by faith in Jesus? Faith in God, right? Because if salvation was by works, the Bible says if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So if you try to get to heaven by your own good works, you've nullified what Jesus did for you because you're trusting in your own righteousness. So if you believe this, like I said, there's a way that you make that decision to believe and to be saved. The Bible says, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, how do you call upon God? How do you talk to Jesus? Does he have a cell phone? You would pray to him, right? So I'm not forcing this on anyone, but if you believe the gospel, can I lead you in a prayer to tell Jesus you believe the gospel? Is that okay? Okay. Just repeat after me then, if you believe this. Uh, dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. But I believe you died for all my sins. And rose from the dead. Please save me right now, forever. Amen. You believe that, right? So, where does God promise to take you when you die? Heaven, right? And is that a 50% sure thing or is that a 100% sure? Right, because the Bible says right here that ye may know that ye have eternal life if you just believe on the name of the Son of God. Now, do you have any questions about that? No? Okay. Well, thank you so much for listening to me. All right, God bless you. Um, we appreciate your time, all right? You're very quiet. <laughs> I like that. I'm a quiet person. <laughs>